Hello Libras, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for September 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, of Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Libras for September 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe and closer to Divine through your messages? Can you please show me... General energies for Libras, November, I mean, sorry, middle of September 2022. We have the star card in the up, upright, which is the card of Aquarius, if that resonates. Also, I'm running a 24-hour turnaround special plus additional bonus minutes. I will leave that link below. It goes until midnight tomorrow, September 2nd. So try to get booked if you can. No pressure, though. Seven of Cups in Reverse is in a challenge position. Click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which you have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. For advice, we have the Page of Wands in the upright. What else? What else? What else do we? Oh yeah, my playlist or 2023 Sun Moon readings are being uploaded. I'm still doing them. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2022s are still hanging out in there, so check those out while you're waiting. We end on the Nine of Swords in reverse as you move out of the middle of September into October. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always appreciate it. Let's get started. So great things are happening to you guys in the middle of September. I feel as though you've gotten over a period of that was very difficult. So, um, you know, maybe something fell apart. It was a really stressful time. Um, you know, you, you didn't have time to breathe or something like that. And now you're on the flip side of that. So, you know, you're recovering from that. You're feeling really good about yourself. Uh, I also think that you're being, um, you know, getting the accolades and the recognition and, and things that you deserve for, for having kind of gone through everything. Um, there's new appreciation for you. You have new appreciation for yourself. Um, and you're also realizing, wow, look at me, look how strong I am. Look how I bounced back from that. Look how I got over that. So it, it's almost like stepping into um, this fabulous version of yourself, you know, becoming the shining star you're intended to be, um, having hope, having faith moving forward. Now, challenge position is, I feel as though you're getting your <laughs> your head's a little bit too much in the clouds. Okay, so while this is great and you're like, yes, I'm, you know, fabulous things are really working, and you know, maybe you're getting all the validation you desired, and like I said, recognition and, and all this other stuff, and you're feeling great. Um, I feel as though you get ahead of yourself um, with the challenge position. Um, and the seven of cups being in there, it, to me, it's kind of the sense or I'm feeling the sense of. Um, you, you know, uh, it, uh, larger than life, like expectations, um, you know, rose colored glasses, idealizing a situation of how great and fantastic things are going to be. And I, I'm not thinking that you have a lot of clarity in regards to being realistic. I think that you're looking more at things, how things look on the surface and being, you know, kind of mesmerized by that than um, the actuality of the situation. So, you know, just, just take a step back, get a little grounded and be like, am I looking at things, you know, as they really are or how I just really want them to be? in regards to whatever situation that may be. Um, the advice, we have the page of wands in the upright. So that's fantastic to me because that's, that's saying, hey, you know what? You're right, change is upon you. It is time, you know, there's gonna be positive news coming in for you. They're telling you um, it's great that you're being so inspired. Um, what could be coming in for you is is getting really excited about something that you know is a new career or investment or new relationship or new project or you know and they're telling you you're really going to be full of energy you're really going to have a a very um sparky outlook um and that you should totally embrace that so it's a good thing but again don't let it get over the top either okay um manage your expectations i guess is what i'm kind of saying in regards to that um 
So as you move out of middle of September into October, I keep on feeling like this, this uh, feel good vibe kind of continues. I feel as though the worst is behind you. Um, I feel as though, you know, whatever was horrific or whatever you went through, um, you're looking back and saying, wow, I can't even believe that I, you know, kind of made that happen. Um, it's coming out of rock bottom and it's kind of, uh, you know, getting back on trajectory towards something positive. Um, and I feel as though you're going to move forward very well, but I do feel like prior to September, you know, you kind of went through something that was really gritty, really gnarly, and, you know, it drained you and you didn't know if you were going to come out of it. And here you are, you guys survived it. So, you know, big, big applause for that. Um, why is the star card here in the upright for Libras? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, things are really good. Your personal connections are good. Family, friends, um, things are at all time. You're very happy in work. You're being prosperous. Things are really ideal. They're really, really good right now. Um, and then Knight of Pentacles are reversed. I'm kind of getting, you know, I, I would be careful of being too risky. Um, the Knight of Pentacles just kind of throws reason out the window sometimes and, and just, you know, gets a little uh, loose when it comes to uh, practical things or money or things of that regard, um, takes unnecessary risks, uh, isn't on top of things usually practically or money wise. So if you're just kind of ignoring where your money's going, you might want to get on top of that. Justice card in the upright, hello, that's your card. That talks about a very positive outcome in your favor. So again, whatever you went through prior to this reading, um, everything's lining up, everything's working out to your benefit. Uh, justice has been restored, truth has been restored, fairness has been restored to you. So, and, and you have balance now that you didn't have before. You might've been really imbalanced, misaligned, things, you know, felt like the stars weren't lining up for you. Why is the Seven of Cups here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah. So I would be careful because I'm seeing you seeing a, a person or an entity and giving them the benefit of the doubt or um, wanting to think the best of that person. And that person knows that. So, or that entity knows that. It can be a person or an entity. I can't define that. Um, but they're whatever they're showing you they want you to they want to deceive you by how they're appearing to you and they want you to kind of think that and they want to you to idealize them um so again i would get your head the challenge is that they are doing that so you're getting sucked into that and you really want to kind of like look at them take off those rose colored glasses and see them or the situation for what it really is uh because what's going to happen is um they could this this person or entity could really kind of set you back, cause you delays, um, you know, and, and they're wasting your time and your energy. Uh, actually, yeah, the Hierophant card in the upright is telling me that um, the challenge is you do not have the wisdom um, to kind of, kind of uh, see this person or entity for who they actually are. Okay, so for some reason, they're snowing you. I don't, I don't know who that is. But um, I'm sensing that. So that's just a, a precautionary tale there. Why is the page of wands here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Ace of cups in reverse. The four of cups in the upright. And the, okay. Um, so you're telling you that there's some someone's going to make you an offer some kind of opportunity something's going to kind of come in um you aren't you aren't really paying attention to it because i think you don't believe you can do it okay so you don't have a belief in yourself or wonder if you're questioning it and another thing that i'm seeing is that you don't kind of want to question that person or talk to them about it or anything like that, like ask for proof or details or something like that, because you don't want to get into it with them. So they're saying that th this might be a case where it it's good to do that. Don't, don't get in a conflict with this person. Um, it it's probably best to avoid it in this situation. I mean, I don't know what that situation is. It's going to also take away from your great energy that you're having here with the page of wands and the upright. So I feel like something, and it might be this situation here. They're telling you someone's going to come in and make you an offer. Um, you know, you're not really sure of it. 
but they're also saying don't don't get into that with them that's not somebody you want to have conflict with or question or anything like just keep on focusing on what you're doing don't entertain that whatever that might be um why is the nine of swords here in the reverse for libras as they move out of okay so what's good about the um you move you moving out is you start you're really getting into this uh king of cups kind of vibe so even though you kind of went through whatever you went through for some of you that did um i feel as though you're kind of getting back to your yourself in terms of being a very kind person um you know a helpful person um having a deep understanding of people and and you know, caring about people. So I almost feel like because of the experience that you had, you're going to move forward a, a more mature person. And I see that. Um, I see that you're not letting it affect you too much. You actually, you know, very open, very, uh, you know, letting your guard down, um, you know, not being guarded with people. Um, and again, it, it, you know what I'm trying to say here is something like just because that happened before I'm not going to let that change me because I'm a very good person so if something happened before and it was a situation or a person and it was really bad I almost feel like you're not going to let that define you moving forward you're kind of saying to yourself okay well that happened but everyone I come upon in every situation I'm going to come upon I'm not going to let that bad situation define that and I feel that that's really the crux of what you guys are kind of about sometimes that's advantageous and sometimes that's just disadvantageous because people take advantage of it but but I feel that's where you're, yeah. So I, I think as you move forward, you're going to have this whole reformation, um, you know, be a kinder person, understanding person. Um, I feel as though you're going to be more confident moving forward. You're going to not be complacent. You're not going to shy away from challenges. You're actually going to take them on and say, I'm going to take this on and I'm going to make something happen here. Um, working on your charm, working on your uh, people skills that you have. So even though it might have been a rough situation, I'm getting all over sense that you're stepping into a better version of you after uh, mid-October going into September. Um, just be careful of whatever this situation is there. Um, yeah, because I just feel like someone, someone, someone might be trying to take advantage of you and, and you need to have that foresight. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715, especially since I'm having my 24-hour turnaround special where you get additional bonus minutes. I will put that link in the description box below. If you're interested, you must book before tomorrow, uh, September 2nd by midnight in order to take advantage of that. Um, click on the video link below for your extra extra. It will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. In my playlist are your 2023 sun and moon predictions that are still coming out. Please be patient. Put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. While you're waiting, check out your 2022 some moon predictions that are still in my playlist and then check me out on facebook instagram like share subscribe or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts always appreciated otherwise libras i will see you in the vimeo reading adios from veronica garnett bye